All right, so here we're going to explore the instrument functionality of NSX and NEON. To start, let's just take a look at a few of the pages that come predefined, ranging from navigation pages to a bunch of different data pages with one, two, four, six, and nine different data elements. But I'd say the real secret sauce here for Navico for a little while now has been the ability to customize gauges. So here we see the gauge layout and the palette of instruments or gauges available. Uh, and we can now drag and drop gauges from the palette, change their size. We'll show you changing their data elements, etc. And now we'll add a compass. We can resize that as well. And uh, scrolling through, see the other gauges. Let's add a clock here in the bottom right. Let's go ahead and customize that clock so we can set it so that it has a date displayed as well. It's still kind of big, so let's go ahead and make it just a little bit smaller. And once that's done, we can add information on the engine battery to start with. And now we'll go ahead and add a gauge for the rudder. So pick the rudder gauge, drag it over. Make it a little bit bigger so that it'll match as we go to add the, some engine data. We'll find the engine gauge with data on both sides. Drag that on over. And gonna need to resize that as well, just a little bit. Eh, maybe a little bit bigger. And now it looks like it's just a little bit off center, so we'll move it over. There we go. Now we need to change the data because it's showing speed in the middle. So we'll select the data type, pick engine, RPMs. But now what I notice is that the RPM range is set to a 10,000 RPM max. Um, the motor on this boat might hope that it could make 10,000 RPMs, but it never would. So we'll set the max to 6,000 RPMs. And once that's done, we'll also go ahead and set the warning range to 5,000 RPMs. So with that done, we see that the five and six are highlighted in red for warnings. We're done there. Now let's go ahead and add a fuel gauge so we can pick the vertical fuel element and just drag it on over. And then the last thing I think would be helpful to add is an engine trim. Uh, engine's at about center trim right now, so it doesn't really show too much, but you see it's showing 51%. And with that, I think we're done. Let's let the MFD go ahead and save the page, and then it'll display our instruments. And there we go. We've got our instruments.